Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and happy Friday, everybody. Um, I'm back. Hopefully, my internet is better and I can do videos again. I don't know, I had some trouble this morning, but anyway, so this is the card we're going to make today, and we're going to use this um, Penguin Place Bundle. It's a stamp set, looks like this, with all these cute little sentiments and all these images, and then it has the coordinating punch here. Let me turn it this way, you can see. Cuts out the foot, the tummy, and then the base of the penguin. We're not gonna use the punch today, but of course I suggest that if you buy the stamp set, you buy the bundle so you have the punch later when you use it. And don't forget that during celebration, um, they have the really cute designer series paper that coordinates with the stamp set. So even like this little guy here, you could punch out with the punch. But look how cute the designer series paper is. And like I said, this is in the celebration catalog. So with a $50 order here in the US, you can get that paper for free. And so it's just a little bit more. Add a couple things when you buy the bundle and you can get the designer series paper for free. So let's go ahead and um, make our card. I'm gonna start here with a piece. Well, let me tell you about the pieces, then we'll start stamping. Because I have a piece of crumb cake. This is just your basic eight and a half by five and a half. And I've scored it here at four and a fourth in the middle for a nice score line or fold line or whatever. And then I have some real red, and this is five and a half by three and three fourths. And now if you don't get the measurements now, don't worry about it. As soon as I finish my video here, I'll head over to my blog and put all the measurements on my blog. And then I have two pieces of basic white, and these are five and a half by ooh, three and a half, three and a half, because it's just a perfect layer here for the front on that real red. And I did make sure before that all of my cardstock is five and a half the same way from edge to edge, so I won't have any problems later. And then the other one is going to be for the inside. So another stamp set I'm going to bring in for the inside of my card is this Christmas to Remember. This Friends Like You Make the Season Special, I think, is my favorite stamp set in the whole uh, mini catalog. So I'm going to use that on the inside. But to get all of our little penguins perfect like this in a row, I'm going to use my Stamparatus today. And for some reason, I pulled out my, um, this is called a, I think it's called a Premium Deluxe foam mat so it's just something it doesn't come with the Stamparatus but you can buy it from Stampin' Up or on my online store and it's just nice it's got the the so you can clean it off if you have to stamp on it it still has the foam pad for when you're photo using photopolymer but um, I'm going to use my magnet to hold that down and then I'm going to bring in one piece of that basic white and I'm going to line up all the way over here to the right hand side and that just gives me room to um, put my penguins across there okay and I want to start with my penguin in the middle I think that's going to be the easiest so take my little penguin here and I'm going to try to put him in the center of my cardstock I want to leave room for my sentiment down here but make sure there's a little bit of room for my antlers so let's put him about right there does that look straight or straight enough he doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. I think he just needs to be cute, and he takes care of that problem. So, And like I said, I'm going to put him toward the edge because then I want to have to move him this way. I'm going to move him this way too, so I want to make sure I have my plate start at the third groove over here before I pick up my stamp. I hope all that makes sense. But the photopolymer are sticky, so I'm going to make sure I hold my paper good. My magnet's going to hold this side, but that way my paper doesn't move. And then with some black, and here I'll turn it this way so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And with some black memento ink, I'm going to just ink up my little penguin there. And then set him down here on my paper. And then we need a drum roll to see if I put him in the right place and that he's straight. And he's good, except look, there's a little piece of lint or something on my stamp here. <laughs> Let me get that off. There we go. Because there's a little white spot on his head. That I don't want and I'm going to just ink them up light again at there at the top and try to cover that up there we go now he looks much better so then we're going to just take our plate here and move it over one more groove ink up our little penguin again there we go and then just set that down right next to him 
Look how cute. And then we'll move it over one more time this way. Ink him up one more time. This is what I love. One of the, the, few, the many, many things I love about the Stamparatus is that you can do this hinge step is what they call it. And you can just get your little penguins perfectly straight in a row. Now let's go back to this side here. Let's see. Yep, that's the right one. I'm going to go in the other two sides of that middle penguin. Or the other two on the side of that middle penguin. There we go. But we're going to have our little five penguins right here in a row. Nice. Okay, and that deluxe foam mat gives it a really nice, whoops, I forgot to hinge them. Gives it a really nice foam and uh, just works really well with those photopolymer stamps. There we go. So there's our little penguins all in a row. Now I'm going to just take this off and I'll clean them later. And I'm going to grab that little pair of antlers out of the stamp set. And let's line that up with the middle one. I think it's going to look pretty good right there. What do you think? Can you just barely see the black under that? And then again, I'm going to start with the second one over because this is in the middle. And I guess this one I wouldn't have to start in the middle. Make sure I hold my paper so it doesn't move. Nope, he still looks good. And now with some, oops, let me put this black away so I don't get my fingers all in the black ink. And then with some soft suede ink, I'm going to put those little antlers on that little penguin too. And they might not be perfect, but I think they're going to be close enough. Yeah, look how cute that is. Okay, let's hinge those now real quick. And I won't talk. I'll just get to work here so you don't have to listen to me. Yeah, he's going to... They're not perfect, but like I said, they're so cute that no one's going to be looking whether my antlers are perfect or not. I'm going to go all the way over here. Yep. Oh, and I must have moved my paper because, look, my antlers aren't even the same. Oh, well. I still... Oh, then I took it completely out and forgot to put it in the hinge. Last one. And then he's too far over. Come on, Kathy. There we go. There, so now all of our little penguins have their antlers. Then I would just take this and run it under some clear water in the sink to rinse those off and get that ink off my stamps. Okay, so let's put some little beaks. I think penguins have beaks and some little feet on all of them. They have this little two-step of feet that fit perfect right there. Now they're starting to get a little bit of personality. And I think with a, a card like this, if you want to whip out a bunch of them, you just have to put your paper in the same place. Your penguin, although I took him off, would be set up. And you could just boom, 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 whip out a bunch of little penguin cards here. So put a little beak on that one, a little beak on that one. I'm going to skip the middle one because I'm going to give him a special nose. And that there. Now we have all of our little um, beaks. And then with some real red, maybe, so here we get that one out, some real red ink, I'm going to stamp. And now the little nose actually has like a little, <clears throat> oh, but it doesn't matter. We're going to cover up with the bling, so I'm not going to worry about. The nose actually has a little like highlight there. Can you see that? But we're going to cover it up with the gym anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. Okay. There's a cat issue. Then <laughs> we're going to take this season's greetings. Make sure it's not upside down. We're going to stamp that up here in the corner. Look how cute that is. And then with some shaded spruce, I'm going to stamp that um, it says to the coolest friend ever. Oh, and guess what? I have the wrong stamp mounted. So I guess on this one, I'm going to stamp be cool, be chill, be merry. There we go. So let's see in this stamp set, since I stamped a different one there, I like this to the coolest friend ever. But let's see if this one has something that goes with be cool, be cool, and merry. Maybe we just stamp have a holly jolly Christmas here instead of that friend stamp. 
and I'm going to stamp that one on that second piece for the inside in that shaded spruce. Like that. And then also in this stamp set is this cute little heart. So I'm going to take that real red and just tap a few little real red hearts right here by my greeting. And look how cute that is. Okay, let's go ahead and put our card together. We've done all of our stamping. Put that aside. Whoop, put that aside and bring in those other pieces. This is fast, simple card. We're gonna score uh, or fold on that score line. Gonna attach this piece with some just tape runner. Ooh, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Stamparatus to get those pieces in nice and straight. So if I put it up here in the corner like this, I can use this straight edge here and get it lined up nice like that. And look how well it lined up and how easy that was. Now I think I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this layer. And then I'm going to lay my card base in here and do the same thing to line that piece up so they line up perfect too, just like that. And then a little bit of adhesive on the back of my inside. And I'm going to open this up and turn it over and do the same thing. So make sure this one's upside down too and lay this and have that perfect just like that, easy as pie. Another great thing with the Stamparatus. So there you go. And then last and certainly not least, but with these wonderful gems, they have the perfect little nose to go in here. Let me grab my pickup tool or take your pick tool. And I think I wanna use the larger here. I'm gonna use the large red gem right here and just set it right over that little, no oops, ah, on the nose. There we go. So it looks just like that. What do you think? Now on this one, I use the um, Poppy Parade ink, but I like the real red because it matched the gems better. So that's on my card I made today. I use the real red. But there you go. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. If you like any of the supplies, you can find them all at my online store, kathyhouse.stampinup.net, but I'll put the link in the description below. And again, you can go to my blog, Be Creative with Kathy, and I'll have all the measurements there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.